If we want the signal to actually mo be modified or adjusted uh, as the user changes the value of the knob, we'll need to execute this code in a loop. To do this, we'll go back to our block diagram, and this time we'll navigate to our structures palette, where we have what's called a while loop. I can click on this and literally draw a while loop around my code. Now, I want to point out something very important. LabVIEW is always compiling your code. And so you know the second you've made a syntactical error because it won't allow you to run it. When I go to my run arrow in this case, we can see it's actually broken. But clicking on it gives me a list of errors or things that are preventing execution. In this case, I can see that the conditional terminal of my while loop has not been connected, which means it would never know when to stop. As with all errors in this dialog, I can actually double click to be taken to the source of my error. Now, to fix the error in this code, I'm actually going to go to my front panel, right click, go to my Boolean palette, and simply place a stop button. Double clicking on it again will take me to the corresponding terminal, which I'll then wire up to the stop condition of my while loop. And at that point, I can then run my code, and we see that the waveform and its frequency are modified as I turn the knob.